Welcome back guys. Today I thought I'd take a look at the new Ubuntu 1804. Now this is an early alpha release. Uh, it's mainly uh, released for feedback to the Ubuntu developers. Um, this is the GNOME version which is the Ubuntu used to be the Unity desktop. Now it has the GNOME desktop. Now it is GNOME 3.26. So the settings uh, has greatly expanded lots to select from uh, and you, it's highly configurable however it's, GNOME appears to be an acquired taste and so um, for example I when I started using Linux I really hated GNOME um, but after using Unity and liking Unity for a while um, then uh, I became more comfortable with Unity and then of course Unity is no longer available and so as you can see the developers have made the GNOME desktop look very much like the Unity desktop so uh, it'll be comfortable for everybody who used to use Unity. Now there are a few bugs in this uh, uh, Ubuntu GNOME release. Um, Gparted does not work uh, so again it's not a daily driver uh, it's mainly for development and feedback purposes, but I thought I'd take a look at the aesthetics of each of the desktops, uh, not and not all of the desktops, but four of the desktops. So today we're going to look at Ubuntu with the GNOME desktop, which is what you're looking at. We're going to take a look at uh, Ubuntu Mate. We're going to take a look at Zubuntu, and we're going to take a look at Lubuntu. Now these are the the uh, daily release of the Ubuntu 1804 which is the Bionic Beaver. So uh, I installed drivers, I had no issues, I installed GUVC View and Simple Screen Recorder no problems at all. With the software updater uh, I've already run an update so I don't think there'll be anything left to do. I should be totally up to date uh, but I did install the drivers um, which are accessible via settings and so in my drivers you can see that I have NVIDIA, Broadcom and uh, my microcode firmware for my CPU. So no issues on that. Uh, as far as aesthetics goes um, this is not a good uh, subject for theming because uh, this is GNOME 3.26 not all of the GNOME themes are usable within 3.26 and so theming is going to be a, somewhat limited uh, because of the early uh, stage of development for, for the 3.26 GNOME but I expect that by the time the final release is issued in April of 2018 there won't be any issues as far as theming. Now I am going to do a couple of theming videos. I think I'm going to do theming the GNOME desktop, getting into some of the extensions and I'm going to do a an XFCE theming video because I think a lot of people are comfortable with uh, XFCE. So uh, this is what the GNOME release looks like, Ubuntu 18.04. Again, it is an alpha, not intended for a daily driver. If you do load it up, just be aware of that. Uh, but you can, you can download the releases and take a look at it. Now, I'm going to be right back, and I'm going to be in the Ubuntu Mate 18.04 release, and we can take a look at that. Be right back, guys. Okay, welcome back guys. As you can see, I'm in Ubuntu Mate. It is the 1804 daily image. Again, it's really uh, an early release. Uh, it's not meant to be a daily driver. It's, it's really a uh, release um, where feedback is provided to Ubuntu in order to get this uh, release ready for a final release in April of next year. Now, one of the differences that I see with Ubuntu Mate is that 
if I look at the drivers right out of the box, Broadcom is already installed, as is my CPU microcode. So the only thing that I would have to install is NVIDIA. And that would be just select it, click Apply Changes, and enter your password. Now, the other uh, thing that you would obviously need to do is select a network, enter the password for that network, and connect to it. Now, it's a, a very similar appearance to a normal or a, a pri any prior Ubuntu Mate release. The Ubuntu Mate releases are always done top-notch. Martin Winpress uh, does a fantastic job. Uh, so I don't expect any difference. And, and I would have to say that um, the this release, which is an, uh, an alpha, is seems to be a little further along and further developed, better developed than uh, the Ubuntu GNOME release. So I haven't seen any issues with this. Uh, I'm going to check Gparted to see if I have any issues. If you remember in the GNOME release, uh, and it doesn't look like Gparted G -parted is installed out of the box, which is a little bit unusual. Let's see. Yeah, no Gparted. I am going to install it just to see if it works. As you can see, uh, NVIDIA has installed. All I need to do is reboot. Let's go ahead and install Gparted. And we will see if it works. Now, if you remember, it did not function within the Ubuntu GNOME release. And there it is. <clears throat> and it does work in the Mate release. Now, again, uh, that's typical of Ubuntu Mate. Everything usually works right out of the box. So I'm going to close that out. And this is the disk that I have all the four Mate, uh, the Ubuntu releases. That's GNOME, Mate, Zubuntu, Lubuntu. I'm going to close that out. I'm going to close the welcome screen. Okay, so if we go to the control center, NVIDIA settings are already there, but until I reboot, I'm not actually running the NVIDIA drivers. Gparted is there, additional drivers. Uh, let's see something here, appearance. So it's got the typical Ubuntu Mate themes. Fonts are Ubuntu. And let's see, if I customize, these are the icons that are available. Now you've got a good selection of icons, but of course, you can add whichever ones that you prefer. Now, let's take a look at the, because the desktop background has changed. And as you can see, there are a lot of backgrounds available. And of course, you can add the ones that you want to use. So that is uh, a quick look at Ubuntu Mate 1804. Looks a little bit more 
polished and ready for prime time versus the Ubuntu GNOME. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to pop into the Ubuntu Zubuntu, which is with the XFCE desktop, 18.04, and I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back, guys. I am in Zubuntu 18.04. Uh, in settings, if I go to appearance, Graybird is the default theme. Again, you can download and install any theme you want. Uh, you've got elementary icons and uh, it's very configurable I really like the XFCE desktop now if I look at drivers you can see that Broadcom is installed out of the box but microcode and Nvidia are not it's just a matter of clicking the two that you want apply changes enter your password now once that's done all you need to do is reboot and you can see that I have Wi-Fi already picking up my networks just a matter of entering your password and connecting now the desktop wallpaper seems to have changed from the last release at least the default so if I go into desktop you can see the uh, wallpapers that are available there's the default and I'm now connected to my network through Wi-Fi but you've got several default wallpapers and again you can add the one that you like if I go back to all settings you can see that it is a typical XFCE Zubuntu uh, install I've already updated the software. Uh, I am updating my NVIDIA driver and microcode as we speak. Everything is working fine so far. The only thing I've added is GUVC View and Simple Screen Recorder to do this video. And so uh, nothing is out of the ordinary. And again, things are going to change quite a bit between now and April of next year. But this is what it looks like right now and I've got some screen tearing which you probably cannot see um, that may or may not disappear with my NVIDIA drivers past practice tells me that it's not going to disappear until I install Compton and uh, or install a uh, command that uh, f fixes it within the NVIDIA configuration and I've done videos on that in the past so if you do a search for NVIDIA uh, you'll be able to find that solution if you're having that issue so that is it for this Zubuntu uh, installation this is Zubuntu 18.04 I've done all of the updates the drivers have been installed now it's just a matter of rebooting so I'll be right back in the Lubuntu installation. Be right back, guys. Welcome back, guys. I am in the Lubuntu 18.04 installation. Uh, now, as you can see on d additional drivers, none of the three have been installed. So I'm going to click off on the three of them and click Apply Changes it'll go through the installation process and then I'll be able to use my Wi-Fi and my NVIDIA okay so now you can see the new release is called Bionic Beaver it will be a long-term support release uh, right now it's in the Alpha 1 and so it's got to go through quite a long process before it's ready for prime time uh, that'll be in April of next year so I'll be looking forward to that now this Lubuntu release um, Lubuntu happens to be one of if not my favorite Ubuntu um, desktop environment uh, I prefer Lubuntu because it is very quick it's highly configurable although it does take a little bit 
more work than say XFCE but the when the, when finished even though it's a little bit longer process to get Lubuntu exactly the way you want it when finished uh, to me it is the most usable on a daily basis it's just a comfortable desktop environment but it is a little bit more work so this is what it looks like out of the box well you've got a few wallpapers to pick from and then of course you can add your, uh, whichever one you prefer now as I've mentioned in the, in the past when you're theming Lubuntu basically you've got customized look and feel which has your widgets or themes and then you've got your color scheme you can use a customized color scheme this is on the Lubuntu default so that's the customized color theme and of course comes with uh, multiple icon themes but again you can add your own very easily window borders and fonts of course are configurable now there are also configuration or theming options within openbox because it does use openbox um, and in the open box let's see configuration manager um, you've got other theming options so it's a, it, it is a little bit more difficult you can change the number of desktops in open box so if I take it down to one you can see my little uh, icon for desktop number of desktops keeps changing as you can see so it's a little bit more work to configure but once you learn it LXDE even though it's come out of favor uh, a little bit over the years and it supposedly was going to be eliminated in favor of LXQT which I hope does not happen because I prefer LXDE uh, but even though uh, that has uh, it rumored to be disappearing it really hasn't that hasn't happened so there's a reason for that and I think LXDE has a large following and so hopefully it will continue to be a viable option and so you can customize your theme you can add launchers to the desk to the panel you can add a dock like plank so there's lots of things you can do to make it look just the way you want this to me is a lot of fun to configure and I really like the end result it's always nice and fast no problems at all so guys that is it for this brief look at four of the desktops within the new Ubuntu 1804 Bionic Beaver I hope you enjoyed the video uh, thank you very much for stopping by the channel today. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and I will see you soon. And don't forget, guys, I'm going to be doing a few theming videos over the next few days that I hope you enjoy. So, guys, thank you and take care.